How's it going, David Crandall here with another FL Studio tutorial. La, 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 la. I don't know what that introduction is about. But I do know that it has been a very long time. Again, I mentioned this in the last video that I just recorded. Uh, it's been a while since I've done these tutorials. I made a good chunk of tutorials, but haven't been, you know, keeping my promise and making these frequently. Uh, so I apologize, but I'm getting back and uh, been scanning the inbox, reading comments, and one comment uh, on my automation clips tutorial uh, is from TMB Achu or Timbachu or something. Sorry if I'm butchering your your username, but this person says, "How exactly do you send sounds?" to the send one mixer. Well first let me start off by explaining what the sends are in the mixer. They're basically to create subgroups so that you can send uh, multiple inserts on the mixer to a sound source to one output or apply an effect, uh, one single effect or different effects to all of the different inserts at the same time or just volume or, or do whatever. You just tweak them all the same way. Uh, simultaneously. So I'll go ahead and show you how this works. Um, for this tutorial I'll be using a project file that I've recorded for a client who happens to be my dad and um, we'll be sending all of the background vocals recorded by me, one part by him, but all the other parts are done by me, um, so that we can tweak all of them simultaneously. So you can see I have all of the vocal parts except for the last two here labeled um, and you can see they all have EQs and compressors and reverbs and what I want to do is I kind of want to be able to adjust the volume of all of these background vocals so we'll go ahead and listen to some of it uh, find where some vocals start here alright so here we go we'll go ahead and play it Word. Okay, so we can kind of see that all the background vocals start from channel 13 to 19. So what we're going to do is, one at a time, first, before we send them to our sends, we want to make sure that they don't play in the mixer, because what happens is it will double in volume, because this insert by itself will be sent to the master, and then when you put it in the send, the volume that's being sent to the send will also send to the master. So you see it kind of doubles. So we want to take it out of the master. So to do that, we select our insert by clicking on it and then going down to the master uh, fader. And you'll see this knob here. Just cl left click it and start going down and just turn it all the way down. And we'll do this for each one all the way through 19. Alright. I don't even think there's anything on 18, so we'll just skip that next time. Anyway, now that we've done that, if we listen to the background vocals again, we won't really hear anything. Check it out. Okay, so we don't have any background vocals playing here. So we'll go ahead and pause that. Now, now that nothing's going to the master, we want to send our sends, or we want to send each insert into our send one. So again, select your insert, whichever one you're using. For this, we're selecting 13. Um, and we go down to where send one is, and you'll see this knob down here is turned all the way down. So we'll go ahead and crank that up to about here. You can crank it all the way up if you want to. It doesn't really matter. Um, and again, we'll do do it for channels 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 19. Because I don't think there's anything in 18. There used to be, but there's not anymore. Alright. Okay. So now, everything 
all of our background vocals are in send one. Now check it out. There we go. We've just sent several channels to send one. Now what this allows us to do is we can add uh, up to eight effects, eight different effects. We can adjust EQ on all of these channels simultaneously. And we can adjust volume. So let's say, well, maybe the background vocals aren't loud enough for that part. So we'll just go ahead and crank send one up here. Kablam. Now our background vocals are a little louder. And we could turn them back down or even off. Pretty neat, huh? Well, there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead here. I'm pretty proud of this uh, particular project. It's it's pretty different compared to what you expect from an FL Studio user. You, you usually hear, you know, electric stuff, you know, electric jazz or, or hip-hop or rave or something. But this really kind of goes to show you how versatile FL Studio can be. You can create classical, you can do jazz or like this, light swing. You can do anything. You just gotta gotta practice and get good. So, I hope this helps you um, and gives you a chance to better yourself in FL Studio and learn a little bit more and help you with your next project. All right. My name is David Crandall. The artist of this song is Dave Crandall. It's my father. Um, I did all the instrumentation on it through FL Studio, you know, either recording instruments directly into it or using MIDI and different plugins. Um, so just needed to give credit where credit is due. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I, I just think the harmonies on this song are sweet. I mean, just, just listen. Let me turn the volume up. As you are outside. Pretty cool, I have to say. Um, yeah. So, again, I'm very proud of this project. Um, it should be coming out this fall. I'll give you guys a link when it comes out. Um, but, yeah, just have to thank my dad for letting me produce his album. Uh, and, and, yeah. All right. Until next time, my name is David Crandall, and this is another one of my FL Studio tutorials. Take it easy. That's the thing that